Hey everybody, Jeff here, Aromatics, sitting out here at one of my favorite fishing holes, enjoying the weather and smoking my pipe. If you've seen some of my older videos, you've probably seen me here before. It's just a great place to hang out and do a review, which I will be doing today, and that is on a new release from Corn Island Deal, and that is the new small batch, 8 State Burley. Sounds sounded good to me until I heard there was some Orientals in it, and then I was a little bit uh, worried because I thought the Orientals would be too sharp to really make the, the burly stand out. But then I heard that wasn't, it didn't sound like that was the case. So I figured I'd pick up a tin and see what I thought of it. So it is a, uh, well, first of all, it is a burly based blend with some added uh, 2005 aged Orientals, some 2017 Bright Virginia, and some 2018 Red Virginia. The smell in the tin is now a lot of people were saying or uh, saying that this is a heavily cased blend or some people, like some of the people I heard were complaining that they thought, like they felt that it was. But when I first opened it, I was expecting to, to get a, a strong smell of something, but I wasn't. But then once you really get your nose in there, there is uh, a slight topping and it kind of reminds me of Sweet Fig Newton bars and a little bit of a floral, Oh, what is that? Those fields that have uh, clover, like a nice clo clover field floral smell to it. And maybe a little bit of licorice. So it's a really nice ribbon cut. Got my pipe packed and ready to go. So I'll light it up and I'll let you know what I'm tasting. Smoke it in my Bulldog Cobb. They have some new Bulldog Cobbs for sale at Missouri Meerschaum for Father's Day, if anyone's looking for some. They might still be in stock. So on first light up, I'm getting, the first thing I noticed was a slight bitterness. So it's a little bit bitter, not off-putting, and you get your typical Cornell and Deal, um, seems like it's more like white burly forward more of a real light uh, sweet nut like maybe a pistachio or a cashew it's about medium strength for me for a Cornell and Deal Burley so um, the average person would probably find it a little bit strong a little bit harsh The topping is there, it's really mild. It kind of, this kind of reminds me a little bit of, say, Cornell and Deal's take on a Carter Hall, or even, dare I say it, uh, Sutliff a Mixture, Mixture 79. It's kind of got a little bit of that florally, licorice root beer, cream soda, floral essence going on in the background to sweeten it up and a little bit of honey, but very, that's very mild. I'm, I'm really picking that apart. I'm making it sound like it's very aromatic and it's not. Very natural, naturally, natural, early. Slightly codger. It's in between a codger blend and your, your heavier straight burly that Cornell and Deal would, would do. I can't really taste the Orientals. There is a little bit of a slight cooking spice, like a nutmeg and cinnamon there. Very light. There might be a tiny bit of tartness from those Red Virginias, but it's very light. From the smell, I was expecting a little bit sweeter of a burley. Like more, more like Carter Hall, more half and half or Granger. But it still has that slightly bitter um, fresh burly taste that Cornell and Deal is, is known for. So as it is, I like it. It's pretty good. I was, I was hoping it was going to be a little bit more codgery, a little bit more sweet, because I think that's one type of burly that Cornell and Deal is lacking, is a more over-the-counter style of sweet, aromatic, yet s still burly forward blends. And they, I don't, this is what I was hoping it was going to be. It's not quite that, but maybe with a couple of years age, it will turn into that. It's hard to say. 
But as it is, I still like it. It's got the strength that I like. It's very pleasurable. Although I don't think it, for a small batch blend, it, it's up to that level of, you know, you'd expect a small batch blend to be over the top, but maybe it will be that quality after some age, hard to say. So if you like the Cornell and Deal style Burleys, you will probably like this. If you don't like the Cornell and Deal style, you, m you probably won't, this probably won't win you over. But with some age, maybe it will. So maybe in a couple years, I'll do another review of it and we'll see how it goes. So I'm gonna continue fishing. Hope you guys enjoyed my review and I'll see you on my next one. So till then, Aromatics, signing out.